Hello gin lovers, welcome back. I'm Bobby Freeman and today we're going to be looking at this handsome little chap. For this, my friends, let me introduce you to Northmoor Gin. Now then, before we go on, my friends, just take a moment, please. Take one more moment just to have a look and feast your eyes upon that bottle. Because that, my friends, is surely, surely an absolute work of art. That, that's probably one of the most beautiful and impressive looking bottles I've seen since the Silent Pool, I think. So I really like the Silent Pool bottle as well. But that, just look at it. It's so dignified. It's just, it's, it's, it's basically a deer with a great big bushy load of antlers. And what, what, basically, whoa, and he smashed all that gin then. That was close. And let's be honest, what more would you want in a gin than a big horny beast on the front of your bottle? So let's have a look, see what they say about it on the old website, shall we? So here we go. Now, as you know, I do like to do it in the accent from where it's come from. However, this is just from the southwest of England, which is not really any different accent to mine. So unfortunately, we'll just have to do it in my own mundane accent. Northmore Classic Gin, named after the historic state of Northmore, obviously. Nestled amongst the steep wooded valleys on the southern edge of Exmoor, our Northmore Gin is a delight for the discerning gin connoisseur. Light on the lips, this full body gin with a 44% ABV, get in, has a punchy three-dimensional taste, leaving a deliciously smooth flavour at the back of the mouth. And that is exactly where I like my deliciously smooth flavours. So let's not fanny around anymore. Let's get some in the glass, shall we? So here we go. Let's open her up, pull that off. And do we have, oh my goodness. I think we have, we haven't done a cork test for ages, but my friends, I think we have a cork and we know what that means. It's the cork test. So, oh, I'm very excited. I don't know, for whatever reason, we haven't done a cork test for a long time. So, first of all, do we have a squeak? No squeak whatsoever. It is a completely silent turn. So let's go for the full pull, shall we? Here we go. Oh, a lovely cheeky little pull. Not too loud, but just about right. And I'll take it because I haven't had a lot of corks recently. So my standards are a little bit lower anyway. Anyway, let's get the old fella in the... Oh my god, I was just going to say get it in the glass to do the sniff test, but holy shit, I got a little bit of a, a sort of a bonus whiff as the bottle came past me, and oh my god, hang on a second, let me just get it to a, a, a sort of a, a confirmation whiff, hang on, or a whiff, as some people prefer, hang on, oh my god, oh my god, this, oh, <laughs> I got a bit of a shiver then, so, as you know, on this channel, I do repeat myself quite a bit when I say this, but I don't like to stand around sniffing gins because it is a bit pretentious, but ooh, <laughs> that, my friends, is loaded and absolutely laden with flavours and thick, sort of full-bodied, heady, sort of foggy, sweet and just, oh, God damn. Oh, and it's got like a, oh, let, uh, right, let, let's, I can't, right, I'm, I'm literally lost for words. They came tumbling out my mouth before I could even actually form them. It reminds me a little bit of the beautiful smell of that Melbourne Gin Company. You remember when I was blown away by that smell and that one? This has got, I, I thought that was pretty rare. I didn't think I'd get that again, but this is a pure delight to sniff. It's one of those gins I could actually generally, uh, genuinely stand around and sniff. But we won't do that because it would be rather a dull show. So my friends, let's get a little spot of tonic in there. Although they do say it can be drunk neat. I've read a little bit more on the website, so we might try that in a little bit. However, let's release those flavours with the good old tonic. That might be a little bit too much. Let me pop a tiny bit more in because more came out than I wanted to then. Right then, my friends, I say to you, no I don't, uh, this is Northmoor Gin. Cheers. Whoa! Oh! <coughs> I think it might have been the perfect measure first time. That's a little bit strong, but good God, that my friend. Oh! Do you know what? I can tell, I can see why they put a stag on the front, because that it's a strong beast of a gin, but a, a pleasant one. It's it, it's just like, it's very, it, it is a little bit stronger than most gins at 44%, just tiny bit stronger, but that makes a bit of a difference. And you know what? I like a gin with balls, you know, if you'll pardon the rather clumsy expression. It's really sort of grabs you by the, well, by the balls, I suppose, really. <laughs> but it sort of, as soon as it goes in your mouth, it's like, it's like a grunt. It's like sort of an angry, not an angry, a confident grunt of strong uh, strength ABV, like a strong alcoholic taste, but backed up with kind of heady sort of 
earthy tones that are kind of like, I think you would describe it as full bodied if I was a little bit more flamboyant a person. But hang on, let me have another go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God, but yeah, it's got so much earthiness and sort of gravitas in there. But then there's this sort of like tendrils of lightness in there. It's not particularly citrus forward, but it's kind of nice because pretty much everything is citrus forward these days, which is great. It has its place, but it has sort of, it's more sort of floral notes forward, I would say. Let me have another little. Yeah, kind of more floral, I'd say. Maybe a tiny touch of pine as well, but it's just, oh man, it's a brave, confident gym that just knows what it is and it does it very very well and like i say it it sort of puts me in mind of the sort of the strength yet the sort of the uh, sophistication uh of of a, of a beautiful big stag with with gigantic antlers it's getting a little bit bizarre i know but that's oh god that is beautiful that is an Awesome gym, my friends. Not a very well-known distillery. I'm sure some of my um, subscribers further afield around the globe, particularly in the United States, may not have seen this one. However, that, my friends, is one to watch. Now then, let's talk money, shall we? Because this little fellow, it is a small distillery. It's not one of your big beef eaters or your tankerays or your sipsmiths. It is a small one, so they are gonna be a little bit more. However, not too much more. So 35 pound that is for a 70 CR bottle, so it's a nice big bottle. So that's okay, that's not too bad. That's one of the ones, I th that, that sort of price range, I don't mind paying a little bit more for it to support the smaller distilleries, provided it's good. And that is good, my friends. That is a very good gin, definitely worth that little bit more. So £35 is what, about $40 or about €37, Euros, something like that. Um, and I am quite happy to pay that any day of the week. Because as I say, sometimes you do need to small, support these smaller guys. If, otherwise, what, you know, what, would it, what a boring place it would be if we just had the big mainstream gins, you know. And how many gins would, you, would look quite so handsome on your shelf as this little fellow, my friends? Not many. Not many. So my friends, if you're looking for a new gin, a different gin, a real sort of gin that's got a bit of strength and mmm to it, then you could do a lot worse than getting this one. So have a look on their website, I'll put a link to it in the section below and check it out and see what you think. They also do a navy strength one as well, which I'm very, very excited to try because that one's pretty kicky as it was. So the navy strength is going to be like, you know, sort of both barrels right in the face if you'll pardon the rather clumsy metaphor but um anyway guys if you have enjoyed this video please 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 as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel press the little like button and press the bell icon so you get notified when all my new videos come out and of course check out my patreon page for all sorts of exclusive content and things and i will see you all next time on no nonsense gin reviews where i shall be bobby freeman thank you very much Bye bye